tactic right now. I mean, he could have put buried that car in the wall, and he might not have got any more reward for it. This man, though, well, I'm, I had never seen this situation before, Emma. where James Dean is on a zero from his first run. James Dean sitting fifth in the championship has got to put a big run in here to get himself into the top 32, and he's going for it from the off. Yeah, look at this. Wheels right to the edge of the curb. He's looking for that wall run nice and early, and he's deep into it now. As Dean hands his quarter over the wall, he wanders away a little bit, but he's keeping in it. He knows he just needs a score on the ball, but he'll want a big one. He'll want to be in that top 10. He'll want to be up there fighting with the top guys. As he goes to the wall, he transitions away. That's super fast down the hill. As now Dean applies the pressure, puts foot to floor, looks for the last outside zone of the wall run, hangs a spoiler over the wall. It's job done. Yeah, it's job done. He's definitely in the top 32 with that. I don't know where that score is going to land, but again, I think... Actually, you know what? I don't think he was 100% happy with that. I think there was some moments there, especially this first wall run, where I think at the end of the zone, he could have been... He wasn't as, let's say, aggressive consistently as some of the top, top scores, but it's got to be right up there. Look, he's in the wall, but he comes out of that zone just a little bit. As you said, you're now clutching at small mistakes as opposed to this is a big run. It's going to be highly scored, there's no question. But again, for me, it looked to me like even here, you could Shannon was buried in the wall there. You know, yeah. Heinen was buried in the wall there. So, you know, from that perspective, um, Dean, I would imagine, that little shake of the head just said a lot to me. That it yeah. wasn't a run that he thought was the best he could do on it. But again, you can still win the whole championship from anywhere on so the grid. From 32nd yeah. place. Remember, the championship points is what Dean is coming for, because he knows if he's missed the first round, high qualifying. So there you have it, a fifth position for James Dean, 94. And significantly, that does not put him in the showdown for extra points in qualifying, which means that this kind of perfect run of trying to catch up in the championship is going to be a little bit more difficult for James Dean now, because he's not going to get those extra points in the showdown. This man, though, could get those extra points and start to claw back into the championship, sitting in fourth, the Norwegian driver, Ora Nielsen. Not a perfect first run. He's outside the top 32. From podium to outside the top 32, he's got to get back to business here. Whoa! Oh, Nielsen! Wow! What was that? Oh, my God, he's buried to the wall. That was absolutely beautiful from Oren Nielsen. The Norwegian is absolutely coming for it this weekend. He's had a taste of that champagne. I know I keep saying it, but he wants more. He's on every single wall. The car is on the rev limit of the whole way. He's wide on the transitions. He's dialed into the zones. He's onto the wall again. Nielsen is on fire. Wow. That has to be the entry of the day. He, that's not even his own what he hit. He, hit a, a, he just hit a, a defenseless tire over here, minding its own business. Oh. Oh, he's in the zone oh, so early. Dave, that, that's it. There is no more risk. Why did he even take the risk? He's outside the top 32. He's just taking a handy run. No handy runs. That is it. That's a massive run from that, Warren That's Nielsen. it. That is it. And this again, look. Boop. No Between problem. Between the cones. Yeah, but not at the end of the wall, as you said. Right where they need him to be. Transitions here. Look, edge of the circuit. And then goes wide, which we knew the judges were saying, don't be shallow onto the curb transitioning there. For the, for the twin battles tomorrow, top 32. Yeah, this is going to be a big, this is another big score. Oh, he was really good there as well, I, right I, to the edge of the circuit. And this again, look, perfect. I could perfect. Be, I could be very wrong, but I think And this not a lot of left foot braking, like he's full throttle there for a lot of that. Oh, it's good. How does a rear end on the car, surprisingly? Look, it's twisting the bumper with the pace he's coming through the center section. The flames erupting under the car, what a sport. So good to watch. Oh, the back I, end is just like hanging together with hopes and dreams. And 96 for Oran Nielsen into third position he goes, and that is well deserved.